Hi, welcome to a special vlog. I have here with me four awesome eighth graders who are going to share an experience they had in their eighth grade Siyun class. First of all, why don't you introduce yourselves? All right. Hi, I'm Eli. I'm David. I'm Emma. I'm Zoe. So thanks for joining me. Now, even though Pesach is coming up this week, we're actually talking about a project that you did for your studies about Purim. So, first of all, can you tell us a little bit about the class and why you ended up doing projects about Purim? All right, so um, we were in Siyum class and our teachers thought that we shouldn't do a regular assessment or something like that to see how much we knew about Purim. So we, the teachers ended up making this thing called Stiyu, which was a creative way to express how much you knew about Purim. A play on steam and Stiyu, I right. take it. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. So, um, so this was your project? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you guys want to explain what this is? Sure. And so, how it's related to Purim? So sure. this, is, this is pretty much is supposed to represent the Jewish people during the time of the Purim story, uh, showing that Haman kind of thought they were flimsy, like just a stack of cards that would fall over if you breathe on it, but really the Jewish people were strong and stayed together. And the glue in it that holds it together represents the Jewish, com the Jewish value of community, which doesn't look very strong from the outside, but it's actually very strong holding it up. So it's like when J the Jewish people stick together, we're right. really strong. Right. Yeah. Very cool. And what do we have here, ladies? This represents Esther and the traits that we see in her. And, and as we down. learn about her, we learn more about her. Deeper so she's surface. beautiful. Then you pull royal. royal. She's virgin, elegant, smart, smart, charismatic, brave, loyal. And then and we learn that she's, she's Jewish because that's Jewish. what she reveals at the end of the form story. Yeah. So why did you choose to do this? Um, we chose to do this because um, not everything in the Purim story is right on top of the surface. You have to dig a little bit deeper to see what it's really about. Great. So this was a way for you to express what you knew about the Purim story and for your teachers to see what you understood. Right. Yeah. Find this to be a little more fun than taking a test? For sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And do you feel like you came away really understanding the Purim story? Yeah. Definitely. A lot better. Excellent. And now we're off to Pesach, so maybe you can make some mysterious matzah or something like that with some deeper crunch and meaning. So thanks for joining me. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.